Sorry. So uh, while we're talking about, uh, while we're doing the armchair uh, thing and talking about <laughs> what uh, companies who've been in business for a very long time and have armies of people with like degrees and stuff, uh, while we're <laughs> criticizing them and telling them how to do their jobs, let's let's move on to Sony, Sony Pictures and their marketing of <laughs> Ghostbusters. <laughs> Because uh, this is something I wrote an article about uh, yesterday. Um, I, I saw Ghostbusters. Uh, my mom and I went to see it uh, uh, the Friday night it came out, July 15th, which is also my yeah. last birthday. Happy birthday. And I did remember to call him. Um, and mom asked me, she says, do you want to see the 3D showing? I said, nah, you know, 3D is a gimmick. It's fun. I like it, but not really enough to add four bucks to the ticket. So, no, we'll, we'll see the regular one. It's fine. She goes, are you sure? I said, yeah, yeah, it's fine. If I knew then what I know now, I would have shelled out for the 3D version because check this out. Um, let me see if I can do a screen share correctly. So, are you seeing that? Yep. Okay, so that, uh, let me lock onto that me there we go so this is this is something nifty that the 3d version of ghostbusters is doing uh it's presented uh uh letterboxed still in its correct aspect ratio but the black bars at the top of the bottom are actually part of the uh picture which allowed the effects artists to draw elements of the films like you can see here the proton beams and the sparks coming off of the throwers uh, are overlapping the actual film frame. So in 3D, it looks like elements of the film are busting out of the frame and coming into the audience. And that's just really super cool. I like that. That's neat. <laughs> um, I did not know about that at all. Which surprises me because I am a super dork fanboy of the <laughs> Ghostbusters franchise. And I greedily consumed every single piece of media I could find. Every trailer, domestic and international. All several dozen TV spots. All the interviews I could find on the various talk shows and stuff. I looked at all the posters and all the banners. I made probably like six different YouTube videos talking about Ghostbusters. <laughs> And I did not know about this at all. And I think the reason may actually be because Sony didn't advertise this. Like, at all. The yeah. only place I could actually find it advertised was on IMAX's blog. Which they released a blog the same day the film came out. Uh, titled, Why IMAX 3D is the Best Way to Experience the New Ghostbusters. And it says in part, by now you've probably heard of the Paul Feig directed <laughs> comedy starring Melissa McCarthy, Kristen Wiig, Kate McKinnon, Leslie Jones, and Chris Hemsworth. What you likely haven't heard, however, is that the film features some really cool effects that make the most out of 3D and especially the IMAX presentation. Yeah, you're <laughs> right. We didn't hear about it because Sony decided not to market that aspect. Yeah. You think Sony would have been, Sony, fire your marketing team. Oh my gosh! <laughs> you think it would have been trumpeting, the, trumpeting this goofy, really neat little gimmick from the mountaintops? But no, yeah. uh, a, a day <laughs> like July 13 or 14, a, a day or two before the film came out, there was an interview with Paul Feig, who's uh, talking about the IMAX presentation. Oh, it's so big and big, and the IMAX presentation is big and it's super big and awesome. And never once does he actually mention that. And it does this re neat thing where the effects kind of burst out of the frame. Um, did they want it to be a surprise? Did they think it was going to be this like viral marketing type thing where <laughs> critics saw the film and went, holy crap, this is the neatest thing ever. Go see it. That's the only thing I can think of because well, as far uh, as I could see, Sony never, it's not even on the yeah. IMAX 3D poster for the film. It's not marketed at all so far as yeah. I can find. I, it, it's just weird to me that because yeah. the movie, I would totally have paid to see the movie again to see this neat 3D presentation, but uh the no more 3D presentations of the film are in theaters anymore. So, <laughs> oh well. Um, you can and always every, buy a you can always buy a Sony 3D TV and watch it on the Blue. I'm sure it'll be on the Blu-ray. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> but it was funny because the first time, because I, I didn't hear about it till I got back, and I read I think uh, an article at Polygon, uh, who says uh, I just. 
Uh, I think it was uh, Ben Cachero who says, I just, you know, on a, on a whim saw the 3D version with my kid and was like, holy crap, this is really neat. Go see the movie like this. And it was the same thing with Collider and Movie Web and a couple others. And I'm like, Sony, Sony, <laughs> Sony, Sony. Yeah. Oh, Sony's, man. 